So was there a moment when you were looking at the future of staying as a partner at Palo Peralta or cutting that tie completely and going, I'm gonna go yes. be a director? Was that yes. like a, a dark night of the soul? Well, it was precipitated by some, you know, by cha changes that were occurring between George and I and how we saw the company and where he wanted to take it, where I wanted to take it. And um, we just, we were really good partners building a business, but when it came to sustaining a business, we both had completely different ideas on how it should be done. And so, uh, yeah, I had some soul searching moments to like untether myself from this and start fresh and do something new. Looking back, do you feel like um you would have done anything differently. It was or? the best decision I ever made in my life. And I say that not because I started a new career. I say that because it's letting go of skateboarding was one of the m most important things I ever did. Why is that? Because I felt I had done everything I wanted to do. And if I had stayed, I would have been staying for the money. Uh -huh. And I let it go. And I was strong enough to let it go. And to this day, I, it's, my, it's, the most thing, it's the thing I'm most proud of. I had the strength to say, I'm letting this go. The total security, a complete guaranteed future for something completely unknown. You didn't walk away when there was another lull. It, skateboarding was big it when was, you walked away. We had had our most successful Christmas ever. I left, I left January of 1991. January of 90 was our most successful Christmas. And I was, I, you know, I'd had a lot of influence. I'd had a lot of influence shaping the industry. Um, and I felt it was time, man. Let the new blood have their say. What year did you do Dogtown and Z-Boys? I made that in 2000. We, show, we premiered at Sundance 2001. So you had a 10-year break before... Struggle. A 10-year struggle. Struggle. Totally. I went eight, year, eight or nine years. Um, I did a lot of work. I directed a lot of TV. But as I directed more and more, the projects I was getting were, were getting worse and worse and worse. Really? Oh yeah, it was just awful, awful. I was getting to the point where they were asking me to copy things I'd done 10 years previously. It was killing me. I wrote five screenplays at that time. I wrote and directed a number of short films. Everything I did, every single thing I did, ended up in a landfill. But I wanted to make it as a filmmaker. And when I finally made it, um, when I finally got my film into Sundance, it took me nine years to become an overnight success.